Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to do a simple comparison between Cisco Packet Tracer and Cisco Modeling Lab. If you are preparing for a Cisco certification exams, these tools are a great tool to practice Cisco commands and configurations. Both of these tools are offered for free by Cisco, but there are a lot of difference between these two tools and there are advantages and disadvantages of using these tools. That is what we are going to look at when you want to use what tool. If you want to know how to get into Cisco modeling lab for free and reserve a lab, I will link the video down in my description. And you already know how to download and install Cisco Packet Tracer. So right now I have both of them working. This is a Cisco Packet Tracer. The behind one is Cisco Modeling Lab. So let's build a simple topology on both Cisco Packet Tracer and Cisco Modeling Lab. I'm going to start with the Cisco Packet Tracer and I'm going to build a simple topology by bringing in some switches. I'm going to start with two switches and four PCs. And I'm going to connect them together. You just click on the connection and just uh, click on both end of the connection. It will auto connect on the appropriate ports, but you can change the ports if you need it. I'm going to select the port that I need. So now I have this topology ready. I can just fast forward it, all become green, and you can go into the switch and go to the CLI. Now the switch is ready for the configuration. And you can do the same here. Enable, the switch is ready here. And same with the PC. PC has desktop, and you can go here and then open a command prompt, do a ping, so this PC is ready right away. But let's go to the Cisco Modeling Lab. Cisco Modeling Lab is kind of, you have real Cisco switches with the real iOS operating system on it. Because these are not the real operating system. These switches have some limited capabilities with their operating system and same with these PC. But if you go to the Cisco Modeling Lab, they are kind of real. It's like a, you are working on a real switch and real PC. That is why Cisco Modeling Lab cost around $200 per year of subscription. If you want to use Cisco Modeling Lab Plus, that is $399. When you use Plus, you will get 40 nodes. But if you are using a regular Cisco Modeling Lab without the Plus, you can have only 20 nodes. When you say nodes, the switches and routers, these PCs doesn't count as a node. So now I already have built this one. I'm going to build a parallel one here. Let's drag it, the switches I wanted. This is a router. I'm going to bring it back again. I'm going to select Nexus switches this time for PCs. To connect them, right click on it, add link. E0 on the desktop, and I want to connect that to E11, not on the management port. Now I'm going to connect these two switches together. I'm going to use the last port and also the last port here. Okay, now I have the connection between these two switches. Now you go right click and start each of them. It is not like a packet tracer. You have to start them individually. Start, 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 start. You also can start from here, go to simulation mode and start from here also. So you can see these green circle arrow. That means they are starting these species have started quickly, but the switches is going to take some time. So all PCs have started, but switches are not. Click on the switch and you can go to the console and see 
what it is doing even not started yet i'm not seeing any output so it is still in the process of starting let's go to this one that already have started click on this one go to console show version and you can see it is a real operating system that's a cisco ios v ios 12 and an experimental version 15.2 so let's look at the difference for example enable conf t vlan 10 name sales so i'm creating one vlan here i'm going to do the same on this one console i'm going to change the host name here enable conti host name switch to and you can see this is still starting vlan 10 name sales let's go and look at what this is doing it is still booting let's look at this one it's still booting and if you look at this pc click on the pc go to vnc and it will take you here and the username and passwords are cisco all this information will be here if you look at here it gives you all the information how to log into those things and if you see here vnc that means you are remoting into the pc username cisco and password cisco now you can see i am on the pc itself it's a linux machine but if you are on a packet tracer, you are not on a real PC. You have all these apps available, but you don't feel like it is a real operating system. It is ready, but you know it took a very long time to boot up. Because from the Cisco side of the thing, these are like a real VM machines running on a real hardware at their labs. So that's why it takes some time to boot up. But Cisco Packet Tracer is running on your own PC. It's a very lightweight. So everything starts fast on your Cisco Packet Tracer environment. But if you want to have a real equipment with a real PC and real hardware, like in a real environment, you better use Cisco Modeling Lab. So if you are preparing for advanced Cisco certification like a CCNP or CCIE, Cisco Modeling Lab is a great way to go. Actually, Cisco Packet Tracer is running on a simulation mode. That means you are simulating something real, but Cisco Modeling Lab is running on the emulation mode. That means you are working on the real operating system like on a real Cisco hardware because Cisco Packet Tracer has so many limitations. For example, let's go here and uh, open console. We created the VLAN and, and let's look at show VLAN and put a question mark. You can see what you can look at from the vlan perspective but let's go to cisco packet tracer and then issue the same command show vlan and question mark you can see only three available option but in a cisco modeling lab this is a real cisco switch with the real operating system so you will see all the commands that is available on a real switch so let's do another example to show you the difference if you want to see the running config of gig 00 you can do that here show run int gig 00 if you go to a packet tracer switch show int status all of them are fa port if you want to see the running config of fa01 issue the command show run int fa0 one a comment says invalid input to look at the running config on a port you have to use show run then only you can see 
what is in there. So pack address has so many limitations. The Cisco modeling lab are real equipment, but you have to reserve modeling lab because if you see here, I only reserved it for four hours. That's a maximum you can reserve in the Cisco modeling lab. Most of the time reservation is available right away, but sometime you have to wait. And for the lab to get ready, it takes around 10 minutes. But Cisco packet tracer is kind of you just open up and you can put the config right away. Hope this video is helpful for you to decide which tool you want to use to practice for your Cisco certification. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this kind of video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification.